We're gonna start out by scrambling one pound of ground turkey. Uh, yes, you can use ground beef if you don't want to use ground turkey, but I'm allergic to ground beef and I think a lot of you know that. But I do have some new viewers. Okay, then once you've got this scrambled, uh, you will want to make sure to drain any fat off of it or moisture. And make sure to turn that stovetop eye or burner off. And then we are going to preheat the oven for convect 325 degrees. Now, if you don't like to use convect, you can do 350 degrees on your conventional oven setting. You will need anywhere from two to three cups of mozzarella cheese shredded, and you're going to use half of that on top of the turkey, ground turkey. I have an eight ounce container of Baby Bella mushrooms, which I did wash, and I'm just going to put as many as I possibly can on top of that cheese because we like mushrooms. Now, you don't have to add mushrooms if you don't like them, or, you know, you can just put as little as or as many as you like. This recipe is so versatile, you can, you can just make it your own. And that's what I'm doing. I diced a half a cup of purple onions, and then I put them in the microwave and sauteed them for about one minute. So it's about one fourth cup of sauteed purple onions that I just added to the top of those mushrooms. This skillet pizza is so easy. You could add whatever you want to to it. Next, I topped it with some tomatoes, some thinly sliced tomatoes. It was just a small one. And then I cut up half of a yellow bell pepper, and I also put that in the microwave and sauteed that as well, and then just put that on top. You will want to saute your onions and bell peppers before you put it in this because we're not gonna bake it for very long and you don't want them crunchy. Or then again, you might like them crunchy. Or you may not like them at all, so you don't have to add them. Then after I added my veggies, I went ahead and added two teaspoons of oregano. Add about a half a teaspoon of basil. I'm just using some basil leaves that I dried last year, and I'm guessing about a half a teaspoon is what you would need. Now we're gonna add some garlic powder. I'm adding one teaspoon of garlic powder. Remember I told you that this uh, skillet pizza is so versatile. You can use pizza sauce, you can use marinara sauce, and you can even use spaghetti sauce, which is what I'm using. I did not use the whole jar. I used half the jar of spaghetti sauce. And I like to add that last so that it kind of seeps through the vegetables. I will say this, when you get your pizza out, you're gonna love it, we do but now you will have some sauce in the bottom of this skillet. I haven't found a way to prevent that because keep in mind, you don't have a crust. So, but again, this is wonderful. This is one of our favorite low carb recipes. Once you get that spaghetti sauce smoothed out, we are going to top this with the other half of that mozzarella. And I had just a little bit, maybe a fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese that I needed to utilize. So I just put that right on top, filling in any holes, and it just made it taste all the better. If you are using the convect setting on your oven, then set your timer for 20 minutes. If you are using just a conventional oven setting, set it for 325 for about 30 minutes. Do keep an eye on it. And voila, 20 minutes later, or perhaps 30 minutes later, you have got this yummy, delicious one skillet meal. So if you're looking for a low carb recipe for supper tonight, you might wanna give this crustless deep dish iron skillet pizza a try. It's delicious.